the mountains keep calling and I keep going. A bloke millions of years old would never invite and I hesitate. I was born a stone thrower from this very base. I only first ever climbed Wanale as an adult. I'd like to think the good spirits from home always keep calling me back here to climb. I'll climb up there for as long as I can. I have climbed here tens of times. It never ceases to amaze me. Sam is a local tour guide here, also a zookeeper. He will give me necessary company to the top. I take people to many different places, but mostly I like Wanale. Uh, with the guides, we need them to direct people to the different corners in that nature walk or there. Leading someone, giving someone a good security to the new place where he doesn't, you know. I feel happy with the nature, I like it, and it gives me an, the income. I get some money from it and it benefits our community. That money at that very time also it helps like in constructing routes. We make steps up there in the mountain, building the bridge like as you have seen the other side across, helping community to have clean water. That's how we benefit from this thing. Climbing to the ridge up this mountain has always taken me under two hours. These two hours are always some of the most meditative and mind-opening. I get lost in beautiful and constructive thoughts. Many creative ideas come to me in such moments. There is certainly something special about standing at the edge of this fridge. Even more special viewing the waterfalls from above. You can tell from up here that the community is welcoming. Even more effort looks to be channeled toward making this place more habitable for visitors. Another little feature that interests Sam is the cave nearby. Nothing special about it, but people looking at a cave above. I'm still on the mountainside, somewhere below Wanale Hill and there is a river flowing by, it is a serene place. I'm at a zoo, Kumbale. This is a conservation place that was set up by Welsh people 
to help in conserving nature in Mbale, but also helping the community around. I was first here in 2016 when this place was barely opened and I've kept the relationship alive. This is a stopover for many people who are coming from up on Ale Hill. And I'm back here to explore and show you the beauty of this place. Zusa to us, what oases are to desert dwellers. They bring us closer to different pieces of nature that many would otherwise never see in a lifetime. We visit here to get entertained, thrilled, and also enable scholars to do scientific research. Here is where we pick little clues about Mother Nature, clues that speak to us the language of preserving it. Sam is one person that has been here from the very beginning, making sure this place grew from the empty structures they were to the animal heaven they are today. Right now we have several types of animals and these animals of ours are friendly. Learning how to keep these animals, I visited the Ntebe Wildlife Education Center in 2016. That's where we were educated from. We got certificates from you work for animal keeping and right now I love my job. I feel happy with what I do with the animals. Come on. His intimacy with these animals is truly breathtaking. Often we go to places we never wish to live. The people at the zoo have been so thoughtful, setting up a tourist lodge where people can spend the night in the vicinity of this amazing mountainside. My time hiking the Wanale Hill and visiting the Kuzu is truly a memorable one, full of experiences that feel unfaded each time I journey here. Surely the mountains will call again and I will go again.